Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're taking a look at the titanium tactical shield which gets introduced in the week 110 update for Icarus. So this is significantly smaller than the older shield which is the composite shield. This is definitely nicer. It looks more like a riot shield than anything else. Got a little eye slot there and it looks nice when you're holding it up. It's not too big and it's not too small either. This new shield boasts 140 degree blocking angle and 85% damage blocked by shield. If you're interested in seeing me getting attacked by a mammoth to demonstrate the damage reduction with this shield, feel free to check the video out in the pinned comments. Now to unlock the titanium tower shield, you're going to have to be in your tier 4 blueprints. Now to find it easily, you can just go into the bottom right hand corner here in the search box and type in shield and it will get highlighted yellow along with all of the other shields. So as you can see, this shield falls under titanium. So you are going to need the foundry unlocked. It does say in the patch notes, the machining bench. That's wrong. Yeah, I'm, I'm saying the patch notes are wrong. <laughs> you craft this on the foundry. So you do not craft this on the machining bench. The titanium tower shield is here. Yeah, it costs four titanium, three cured leather, five epoxy, 10 steel screws and two titanium ingots. And you can find the shield all the way down the bottom here with all the other shields. The devs go on to say though in the patch notes, when attached to your back, the shield provides a strong defense against damage from behind, giving multi-purpose use even when not equipped. Take into consideration though, if you do not have this on your J slot, you can just put on any of your hotbar and you can bring it out like so. So you can free up your J slot for a J slot item. Now, the only thing is this does not go on your back that I'm aware of if you have it on your hot bar, but if you move it onto your G slot, it is visible on your back. I'm not 100% sure, but I think this is the only time where you get the protection on your back is when it's on your G slot. Let me know down in the comments though. In other news this week, a battery and network updates. The devs going to say, as mentioned in previous weeks, we are nearing completion of the batteries and network system. It is all functional, which is good news. And we are working on bug fixes we find during the testing process. We're also working on quality of life and we'll start a balance pass shortly. So hopefully, we might get our hands on this soon, TM. The devs also go on to say, we are wanting to get this in your hands as quick as possible, but due to some issues with the build machines, it was unfortunate that we weren't able to provide a build before the holiday period. Next up, optimization and missions. I'll cut past the first bit because the devs are always trying to optimize the game. Basically, TLDR, they're always trying to optimize the game, but we just might not see it come to fruition every week. Another common question is regarding additional mission content. They can't provide mission content every week because I'll just do a brief rundown of what they say here. They'd rather get a batch of mission content done in one where they've got to get voice actors into the studio, do all the voice work and stuff like that. They're not going to just get one actor in each week and pump out a new mission with new voiceovers. They're going to get it done in batches. So basically they will bring out future stuff, but they're going to do it in batches when they can just get a lot of work done with a voice actor done more in one day instead of having to drag people in, do voiceovers, blah, blah, blah. New smoker and recipes. Next week, we're adding a new charcoal power smoker at tier three, which will include a dry and rack recipes as well as 10 new recipes, which provide different food buffs. Now, this is interesting. I wonder if these food buffs are going to be anything different than we've already got or something unique that's going to benefit us in the two new biomes, which are up and coming in the new Frontiers DLC. I highly recommend the Titanium Tower Shield. I have been using it on stream as well. This is the only shield I really actively wanted to use before. It does give you a lot of damage mitigation. Like I said, I'll leave a link down in the pinned comments to a video I did earlier in the week where it shows you me fighting a mammoth and just basically blocking against the mammoth's attacks. So yeah, anyways, hope you found this video helpful, guys. If you did, as usual. And that is the week 110 update, guys. Let me know down in the comments what you think of the new shield and what you think of the new charcoal smoker coming next week. Do you think it's a good idea or it's getting more food, more buffs? If you did find this video helpful, make sure you hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. Yeah. As a large portion of you guys who do watch my content and like my videos aren't subscribed yet, make sure you do hit that subscribe button. It really does help the channel. As usual, I just want to thank my 
YouTube, Ko-Fi and Twitch are monthly supporters for supporting my content. I'm very grateful. Thank you very much. Thanks for watching.